Well, we did get evacuated from Branson, but we managed to do a few things before we left. Yes, just a few. We were only there for a couple of days, but we did get to do some fun stuff. We are on the showboat Branson Bell. And we didn't go on this last time. No. But it's really cool. It is a cool ship. And we really got lucky because <laughs> we didn't have great seats. Yeah. I mean, they were all right. Yeah, but there was a pole and we were sitting facing like sideways. You know, like the RVs where you're facing this way, but you had to watch TV this way. <laughs> it was like that watching the show. But the lady that we were sharing a table with, the couple, the lady, she went and complained. And we yeah, all got better seats. Got, yeah. <laughs> so we got good we seats. We owe her. <laughs> yeah, we can't uh, record down there, but uh, but it's been fun so far, and the dinner was great. And we wanted to come out on Table Rock Lake because we came out on Table Rock Lake 20 years ago for for our honeymoon, yeah. but we came out a different way. Yeah. We came out last time on the ducks. Yeah, we rode the ducks. <laughs> <laughs> but the ducks are no longer available because no. I know you guys probably remember last summer there was a storm and one of the ducks capsized and there was a bunch of people who got killed on that deal and the ducks have shut down permanently now so but this boat is really great and the food was awesome mm -hmm. and we haven't seen the show yet but I'm sure it's good too <laughs> and the weather's perfect yes. outside oh. and the views are amazing the camera does not do it justice no. so we definitely recommend if you're in the Branson area to come on to the show boat Branson Bell and uh, it's been in operation since they said 94 yeah so about 25 years uh, so we could have went on this could last have. time but i didn't even know it was a thing but uh and we probably wouldn't have been able to afford it last time no we were just newlyweds and we, was, we wouldn't have spent the money on no. it <laughs> it's about 50 bucks a person well we got it cheaper next we bought our tickets military, on on post yeah. on fort leonard wood before we came here so it's we got like, 60, little, it's like 60 bucks yeah. or something like that but um, if you got the extra cash, it's worth it. Yeah. But um, we're having a good time out here. And um, so now we're going to go enjoy the show. And like roll ourselves back downstairs because we were so full. This food was awesome. All right. They wouldn't let us video on the inside, um, which I understand why, yeah. but um, they did a really good job of uh, putting on a show. Mm -hmm. And yeah. uh, they went through like different movie genres and musicals. I and, knew every song. <laughs> yeah, she was singing along <laughs> to the Grease and the Footloose and the... Courtesy of growing up with parents yeah. who made you listen to 50s, 60s, and 70s <laughs> music on family vacations. Yeah. Yeah, and then they did... Um, some patriotic stuff and thanked yeah. the veterans for their service and it's patriotic. It's like half the songs. boat was yeah. veterans. <laughs> <laughs> um, the next thing we did was um, we did the uh, Hollywood Vehicle Museum. The uh, Celebrity. Celebrity the, Car Museum. Yeah.
And then we went to, uh, what was the animal place? Um, <clears throat> Wild, Wild World. Wild World. vlog right here because you gotta see in comparison to my head how big this freaking spider is holy crap and they call it a bird eater probably because it eats birds oh man it's so cool <laughs> One of the other cool things we didn't actually go into the into the veterans museum but they had one yeah and it was getting ready to close and it was kind of getting dark and looking yeah. like it's gonna be like a bad the storm out. Gonna open up anyway. but we did stop and looked at the monument because the monument was just super like cool. one i've never seen before all the soldiers like charging into battle and uh the uh, and their names are there yeah they actually sculpted each one from a member of each state yeah and so each state has a representation yeah. of a soldier who fought in world war ii mm -hmm. and it was just it was really cool yeah for the short time that we were in branson we had a good time yeah and got evacuated to kansas city and we had a ton of stuff in kansas city to yeah. show you we can't wait to show you all that footage because uh -huh. We did a ton of fun stuff in Kansas City also. Just gives another reason to have we'll to come back to Branson. We have to go back because yeah. we didn't finish. Maybe not get a lakeside spot next time. <laughs> Just in case. Just in case. I don't know. We're kind of gluttons for yeah. punishment. We'll do the same place, same spots. <laughs> the view was worth it if it didn't happen. Yeah. Because the view there was awesome. Yeah. Coolest place view wise that we've been so far because mm -hmm. we were right on the water and it's rare that you get a pull through on the water mm -hmm. normally you got to back into the to yeah. get you know water front but we were pulled through and it just had a little road right there and anyway we don't dwell on the flood <laughs> the flood of 2019 <laughs> we will rebuild <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> anyway we've moved on mm -hmm. And we're having fun. Yeah. So, like we do every week, we're going to honor a fallen hero. And we hope you enjoyed our short time in Branson also. <laughs> and we'll uh, see you next time. Bye. Bye.